Welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short presentations, giving you some extra hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine CRM. And in this session, I'm going to cover telemarketing scripts, as it's called. So do you have a requirement in your business, your organization to phone customers and prospects, or maybe you take incoming phone calls and you need to gather structured information from that call and have it recorded in, in your CRM database. So if yes, um, then this should be the session for you. Hello then, uh, my name is Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems, we're a specialist CRM solutions provider who help out small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing customer service through the use of simple and affordable solutions like Goldmine. So this, this presentation will be about 10 minutes quarter now or so on scripts, just a sort of overview of this feature, not meant to be in-depth training as such. And my company, Wizard Systems, we do offer many extensive um, training options if you want to explore that with us. Now, the audio part of this call is one way only. Your microphone is on mute. If you've got any questions around this, please, as I go through this, if you've got any questions, um, pop that into your um, question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer at the end. Also at the end, I will give you an update on any Goldmine product news that we've got for you. And the call is being recorded after the um, presentation. You will get an email from our system. Maybe there might be a few hours delay for it to sort of process things, but you'll, you'll get a link to the recording and we'll pop it up on our YouTube channel as well. A quick mention about Wizard Assistance. We're a leading provider of CRM solutions, including Goldmine. We've been doing Goldmine a long, long time now, and we provide anything around Goldmine, the product, upgrades, add-ons, implementation, training. Uh, training can be at your place or our place or online, and all the ongoing support as well. So let's get into telemarketing scripts then. To access your scripts, you go to your go-to menu in Goldmine and then down to scripts. Um, I should say also that the, the script that you're running will be applied to the current contact record. So it, the, the process would be make sure you've got the contact that you're calling or that's called in in front of you as the current contact record. Now you can have multiple scripts and these, these scripts basically could be used for any sales, support or marketing um, process for gathering that sort of information. I guess it would be mainly, Goldmine being mainly a sales tool, it would be mainly for sales, as sales people, but you could maintain, you could have um, available for your users a number of different scripts there. I'm gonna go through, here's an example of a basic support call. And what these scripts do is it's a structured way step by step, question by question, just guiding a user down a process, gathering the information, and the information we gather will be recorded against the call and can also update fields in your Goldmine database. So if you need to later on create a filter of everyone that answered yes to question number three, um, because yes goes into a field somewhere in your Goldmine database. And when you create these scripts, you can decide um, what field uh, you're going to update with that, with that sort of response. Um, then that would be a useful way of doing that, you know, creating a filter based on that, based on that information. So as we go through top part of the screen, there will be the prompts that we've created, you've created for your users, um, and the the responses you give will be in the lower part of the screen. So this is question number one, what is the problem? And we've got here a prompt, we've got the question. Notice there's a number against it. So um, the, the, the actual, we're, we're going through a certain sequence here and these questions have a number, um, normally one through to 99. Uh, I think in this example, I've got my questions spaced out by in tens. That, Question 10 is the question number one, question 20 is question number two and so on. Anyway, so um, I've got the prompt for the user and I can just double click here 
and put in the response. So I can type in my response there. I could select it from a drop down list if I wanted to. But typing in that that general message there. Question number two. Uh, this is a branching script. Branching because depending on the answer you give, we could branch out. We could go out into another kind of sequence of questions based on that response, you see. So it's not just like a linear question one, question two, question three. It, it, it can branch off into, like the roots of a tree, into different different areas. So we, as, as you can see, that's the next question. What version of the software are you running? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then we might also give users a, a sort of choice and make it a little bit easier rather than having to type in or select uh, go to a drop down list. We could we could provide it in this format as well. So, what operating system are you running? We we'll pop that in there. This is where the branching occurs here. So, if I answer yes, I'm going to go off somewhere else. If I answer no, I'm going to go off somewhere else. Well, um, pretty simple. I'm just going. It's a little demonstration script here, just going to the same place. But you get the general idea. So, um, next question: yes or no? Answer no, and then. Um, based on that, uh, I can answer no to that as well, or yes, as appropriate. I might also, I might also prompt the user for a little bit more information on the call. Now, I wouldn't say this would be useful if you've got um, a situation where you're getting into a really long conversation and you are typing in loads and loads of notes relating to response. It may not be appropriate for that. Generally, the responses we're getting here are one-liners, you know, what are kind of a, a quite, quite a simple response, yes or no, numerical text information, um, allowing the user, as you've seen, to type in um, a little bit of a, a response in there as well, kind, a kind of a long sentence, all right? Um, Next question here, are you running any other software, antivirus, blah, 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 and so on. Um, and then um, have you tried duplicating the error? No. And that's the end of the script. What you get then is a little sort of wrap up box here. So you can actually save the um, dialogue. You can save the questions that we asked and the answers that we gave. Um, and that can be useful for doing later reporting. So all of this is recorded in the um, Goldmine database. You see, we could review that there. We could see, oh yes, uh, I can see that we did that to that and so on. So we could we could change some of that if we wanted to. Um, and then click OK. That's recorded now against that contact record. So I was on this particular contact record. If I go to history, there is the, if I double click there, um, there is the the call that I've just done. So a really good way of, as I say, guiding um, guiding your users down through a, a structured process of gathering information, and the, and the benefits the benefits of doing this, the the considerations to use telemarketing scripts in your in your Goldmine database, is improved accuracy by by using a script. It could eliminate the risk of forgetting important information. Um, and ensures that all of your colleagues um, speak accurately and, and consistently uh, with your customers. It could it could also enhance your professionalism by by these pre-written scripts providing more sort of polished and professional um, tone to to the information. It can lead to more efficient conversations by ensuring that uh, you're you're more focused and, and efficient by helping uh, the, the customer and guiding your, your, your conversation down through a, a particular process. If you're using it for sales, maybe it could increase your sales. With a script, salespeople can anticipate any customer objections. You know, they say no to that or maybe or something like that. And then you, you might have some um, pre-canned answers for how you might handle that, that situation in a sales call. If you're using it for service, it could improve customer service by just as I've shown there, um, by making sure that you are tracking, trapping all of the important information on that call. It could also increase confidence if you've got some new starters with you, not too familiar 
with your company or your products, then the scripts can give salespeople, I'm sure, a little bit more confidence in in providing the information or asking the right question and gathering that information. Also, as I mentioned, the ability to measure results, very important to um, make sure that all of this is recorded and to be able to answer in the system um, how how many times did people answer yes to that particular question and, and so on. Uh, could lead to reduced training time. Uh, those scripts come back to new starters. Those scripts could, could, could be used to reduce the time to train new salespeople, um, giving them guidance on uh, you know, um, particular customer interactions and, and product information and so on. And uh, finally, um, increased team, team communications using a script could, could help reduce uh, misunderstandings and ensuring that everyone is, is um, singing from the same hymn sheet, speaking the same language. Now there are a couple of there are a couple of other ways I've seen um, people use telemarketing scripts. Um, the first way are the fields in your goldmine database, and you've got the fields tab as well. But the fields on your goldmine screen, the sequence of those could prompt the user. That could be the flow. If you've got a very simple telemarketing script, maybe the fields you've got on your goldmine screen, and you can reorder those fields as well, or by pressing the tab bar as you go from field to field, question to question, you could decide the sequence the user goes um, goes down. So that could be a simple, simple way of doing it. The other way is using your knowledge base, the knowledge base in Goldman. You might've seen that back on the scripts um, screen as well. There's a little prompt there. They, they can sort of be complementary to each other, um, diving into your knowledge your knowledge base there. That could, the knowledge base could also be another way of having some text within the application. Yes, of course, you could have it in Word or Excel or whatever, um, or some kind of prompting application, but, but you could have it within Goldmine as a knowledge base topic. Um, and again, um, that could provide you a little bit more information on the sort of questions that you may want to ask. You can see a simple example here of a sort of product introduction type um, script. There you are then, scripts in Goldmine. Not a commonly used um, aspect to, to Goldmine in my experience, but if, as I say, um, when I started, if you've got anyone that needs to go through some information in a structured way and make sure that you you cover all of the questions and you you have those recorded in your Goldmine database, um, maybe it would be the way for you, the, that scripting facility. And just a very simple way, you know, the maintain scripts, that's a very simple way. It's just it's like a little program in a way, you know, there's all the questions asked and the actual numbers there. Um, quite straightforward. We do provide training on this if you do want a little bit of help, um, but it is relatively straightforward if you're, um, f the, be the best way to, to plan it is to write it down. So if you've got a script, you may have it in writing already in a document um, or write it down and put numbers against those questions and then that might, that's easier then to apply it. Um, a little bit more difficult if you're branching off into different areas, you're going to have to um, think about your question number sequence. Um, so if they answered yes to this, I'm going to this particular question. If they answered no to this, then I'm going to a different part in the sequence. Um, you just need to sort of plan your numbers. I would say that's the best bit of advice I could give you. Plan the, the numbering sequence if you if you are doing any fancy branching stuff. Okay, well, uh, I hope that's been of value for you. And um, if you've got any questions around um, this feature, uh, question from, yeah, pop that into the, your questions section on your meeting control panel. Question from Sandy. Uh, I notice it goes to history as other action. Um, can it be a call? Uh, 
No, Sandy. I, I don't know why the developers have done that. It, it goes in as, as an other action, a sort of miscellaneous thing that Goldmine has always had. You've got you've got next actions in Goldmine. You've got other actions, so it's gone in as an other action. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe, maybe there might be certain situations where um, the script is not a call. Uh, perhaps uh, that might be their line of thinking. But sorry, um, it goes in as this other action into history separate from phone calls uh chris could it be used as a survey for customers oh that's a brilliant idea actually um i hadn't thought of that but yes uh yeah exactly if you doing you know something happens with a customer you 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 part of the onboarding process maybe with a client or you've done a service call or you've sold them a product maybe you want to phone them in a week or two's time and make sure that you you have a few you know a handful of questions to to ask them to track that information as i said um, the script could update fields in the database so maybe you are um just thinking out aloud now maybe you ask them what other products are you interested in um, or when you're thinking of buying this this thing again, maybe uh, that that could uh, fill in a field in your database to make sure that could be used for some other purpose, filtering or mailing or or whatever. Uh, Ray, Ray, I notice your scripts had pre-filled answers. Why why was that, please? Uh, Ray, this um, so I'd I'd run the script before this being a demonstration system. I'd run the script before, and because we were populating fields, it was bringing up the existing um, entry in that field. That's that's why. Normally, of course, if it, if it's a blank field, um, if we're populating fields in the Goldmine database and we're running the script and those fields are blank, it, it will be blank. So so it'll, it won't uh, it won't um, have any spurious entry in there right don't think there's any more questions let me just bring you up to date with any gold mine news i've got for you um important thing to note so this we are late february now 2023 if you're watching a recording of this there is a gold mine price increase gold now gold mine haven't had a price increase in uh about 10 or 15 years so um there is going to be an increase uh, as we know current current economies around the world um suffering from cost increases and inflation and so on uh so there is a a small increase in gold mine prices so if you if you do have um if you're watching this and it's late february 2023 if you've got any requirements for extra users of gold mine now is the time to order to save some money. Um, please contact Wizard Systems for more information on gold mine pricing and uh, any upgrades or additional users, that sort of thing. So just be aware of that. Um, any new quotations or proposals we, we do going forwards after March the 1st will reflect the new gold mine pricing. Also in the last week, few weeks if you've if you've subscribed to our goldmine blog um, that's the best way of getting notifications for goldmine updates the latest release is 2023.1 and there's more information up on our goldmine um, blog if you haven't uh, spotted that then then go up to if you just google um, goldmine blog your wizard systems goldmine blog you'll find it there and uh, all the release notes for that as well um so um please um subscribe to that the only way i've mentioned this before but the only way of getting updates is to be on a gold mine maintenance contract as it's called maintenance and that does ensure that um you do get uh, access to these updates which you can apply yourself or we can apply for you of course before applying any update make sure that your your infrastructure is compatible with this latest version um, if you're using any third-party add-ons check them for any required updates 
the most important being quote works. If you use quote works, so this is late February 2023. If you use quote works in conjunction with gold mine, don't upgrade gold mine just now. Uh, quote works. Uh, the, the the link is broken because the version number is not recognized by QuoteWorks when the two applications talk to each other. So just wait a uh, normally a week or two, and then QuoteWorks are pretty much on the ball, and they'll provide a fix um, for you for us of that link, and then you can go ahead and update Goldmine and a little update to QuoteWorks. So just check your third-party add-ons um, to make sure they work as well. Um, and review the steps for the for the migration for the upgrade. Um, check them with us, your 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 partner, your supplier of gold mine, uh, with our tech support people, and we can advise you the appropriateness of the upgrade and so on. So that's the latest release there. And finally, uh, have any suggestions for future topics around gold mine? Please drop me a line, Tim at wizard-systems.com. So thanks very much, those of you listening live, um, for attending this morning. Um, thanks so much for your support of Goldmine. Uh, we'll catch up with you on the next event. Not sure what exactly what topic it's going to be, but if you're on our mailing list, uh, it will be announced there and also on our site and blog as well. Thanks very much indeed. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.